Hey guys, Sugar Ashley. I'm here to record a little bit of a haul plus a little bit of my December TBR. Um, this iPad is driving me crazy. I didn't have enough storage, so it keeps stopping the videos when I try to record them for you guys. So hopefully I can film a video. Um, sorry, I'm watching my, my dog. The first thing I want to show you is this wonderful, delicious, it's Monster Energy Ultra Sunrise. And it's zero calories, zero sugar, and it tastes just like the high C from McDonald's. It's so, so good. I love it. Um, so I wanted to show you that. And then I went to Walmart to go food shopping. And my mom was doing Christmas shopping. And I saw something. I said, Mom, can I get this for an early Christmas present? She's like, okay. And I'll definitely do a haul video because I have another Vera Bradley bag. Well, my first Vera Bradley bag coming for Christmas from Andrew. But I got this bag from my mom. It's really big. It sits very, very comfortably on your shoulder because of how it's shaped. It's humongous. It is, they have black, red, and tan. It's got gold balls on the side. So it kind of looks like studded and like rocker chic. It's huge inside. It's got a zipper. It's got stripe lining. It is, when I say big, it's massive. Um, I love big bags. Um, this was 22 something. It's the Giorgio, uh, what is it? Giorgio Studded Hobo, I think it's called. Or no, chain, chain ball hobo. I'll link it down below if I can find it. But loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And then um, I got this because I had a planner. I bought, I brought it back because my friend Brooke is giving me, is buying me a planner for Christmas. Um, it'll be here soon. So I picked this up to kind of help myself kick my butt into gear to get healthy because I am so behind with the weight loss and. Just so much stress going on with my family. I'll definitely do an update with you guys for that. But it's really cool. It's double insulated. It's from the brand Sub Zero. It was like seven something. Really cheap. I wanted something that I could bring with me when I go out to the bus and where I go places. It can fit in my bag because the Vera Bradley has like side pockets. So it's going to probably fit perfectly in there. It's a teal color. I'm not sure how many ounces it is. But it's got like, it looks like it's water in it. But I don't know. But just watch when I squeeze it if you can see it. Like, see it moving? Like, it's so cool. I love the design. Um, it's got the flip top mouthpiece. Um, it's very squishy. It's not hard at all. Unscrew. It's BPA free. It's got a straw. It has no, you know, weird smell. Comes with an extra straw, and I love it. So I cannot wait to use this. And I bought some lemons to chop up in here, and I'll definitely let you know how this is working. Okay, so. After all that rambling, sorry, um, a next thing I want to show you is I did my nails. Like, do you guys love these? Like, oh my god, I'm so in love with my nails. Like, I went to the salon and I got them done before and they were like $40. It was the gel. And I'm somebody who doesn't like to have my nails on very long. Um, after like a week or so, I get aggravated with them, so I just bite them off. And um, I thought it would be a better alternative. I have this stuff right here let me grab it I should have had it ready for you guys um and for what I paid for all my stuff was like 10 bucks probably like 15 ish and that was less than what a manicure would cost me well a full set I got the kiss acrylics not that not acrylics um the kiss active cover nails I think it is um it comes with the max speed nail gel comes with 200 uh, full nails it's what they look like and you just decide which side you want and you pop them on they're really cool if you guys want a tutorial I would definitely do one because they're simple um, and I thought they were gonna be a project but they're really simple they have numbers so you know which ones go on your hands so I picked up that um, I got the sachet uh, top coat coming I ordered off Amazon off uh, Walmart but I got the Sally Hansen dry instantly top coat and I love it. And then the color that's on my nails. My nails are horrible right now. My, my, my hands are dry. But the color I have on my nails, if you can see it, is Sally Hansen's Complete Salon Manicure in Commander and Chic. And it's just this pretty taupey purple color. And I wanted something like that for um, the winter time. And I just, I absolutely love them. Like, do you love them? Like, are they life? Like, ugh. I can't stop staring at them. They're so pretty. And like I did them professionally done by myself and they look professionally done. Like I just love them. So I'll definitely be showing them. And I love the almond shape. They call it the active oval. But I love the almond shape and I love the color and it's just so pretty. 
would definitely suggest picking that up because if you want to save yourself some money, pick that up. Okay, I think that's all for the stuff I wanted to haul and talk about. I'm trying to think. Oh, that, that, that. I believe so. Now on to the books. Um, you haven't seen two books in this haul because I just recently bought them and they'll be in my December book haul. Um, and I have a book out with order coming too, so you'll see that too. But right now I'm reading Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman. And she actually wrote the Taken series, I think it's called. This book is just beautiful. Can you look at the cover? Like, I'm dying over the cover. Like, really? It's so pretty. Um, I got this book because I was in the mood for a western, which is really weird. Um, I do have A Walk on Earth, A Stranger, which is in set in the same time period, I believe. But um, I haven't read it yet. But this one is about a girl. Her name is Kate Thompson. Her dad gets killed and she is trying to find the gang that killed her dad and she is on revenge and nothing is going to stand in her way. And there is a little tiny bit of romance but it does not cover, does not take over the revenge story. Like this girl wants revenge for her dad's death. Um, so I'm definitely in love with this book. I'm on page 12. I haven't really read much because I've been shopping and everything um, but this book is awesome so far. And I believe this is a standalone, so that's good. So I'm reading that. I'm going to be reading with my friend Becky. Hi, girl. Um, she got me this. We're going to be reading it together. It's The Program by Susan Young. Um, you, if you all saw my unboxing, you know what this book is about. It's about where suicide is an epidemic. And if you have any, like, depressed thoughts or sad or stuff like that, they put you in the program, which I have that all the time. So... I definitely want to read this so we're starting this Monday so if you have it and you want to join you can join and then I picked up this book The Mistletoe Inn by Richard Paul Evans it is the tiniest book I've ever seen Barnes & Noble wanted $20 for it I got it at Walmart for 13 but any but even though like that's so tiny compared to a paperback like look how small that is um, and this is a Christmas story. It's about a, a girl. She's 32 named Kimberly. Um, she has two failed marriages, I believe, or one failed marriage and one, uh, she was engaged with that didn't end up going good. And then she goes to this like retreat, which is like the inn, I guess. And she meets this guy and it's supposed to be really good. And I'll let you guys know because it's really short. Um, and he writes a lot of good books. He actually writes the Michael Bay series. So I will let you know. He's also the author of The Christmas Box and The Mistletoe Promise. So I'll let you know. So I'm reading that one. And then me and Becky, if you guys want to join along, are going to read My True Love Gave to Me, The 12 Holiday Stories. Uh, we're going to read, I believe, one story a day um, leading up to Christmas. So that will be awesome. Um, and this is by a ton of authors. I'm going to be reading this. And then if I finish all that, which I don't know it, this book might go into my January um, because January is my birthday. So maybe I'll do it in January or I'll read it in December. But that is Harry Potter in the Sorcerer's Stone in the beautiful edition. Um, I read the first one a long time ago. I have the whole box set, as you guys know. I haven't read any of the other books. So I definitely want to read Harry Potter and get into it. My brother is actually reading the Sorcerer's Stone too. And he's already almost done with it. So I try to kind of catch up with him and try to read this. But that's all the books that I'm going to be reading in the month of December. It could change, but as of right now, these are the books. Um, and I look forward to reading them with my friend Becky. And hi, girl. And um, I'll definitely have a pocketbook haul coming for you. A book outlet haul. Hopefully a review. And I think that's it. I believe that's it. That's all I have to do for hauls and stuff. But I will talk to you guys later. And I am picking up the book. I got the Book of Ivy coming and the Fallen Kingdom series. I have the first book I'm going to get because it sounds really good. And everybody's saying it's not full on fantasy because I'm not that much of a fantasy person. So I might like it. So I'm definitely going to pick up that book. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.